What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Wow. I'm back in my studio setup. So, um, I don't know if y'all know, but normally, if you go, if you went home or back in the old days, there used to be a button down here. There used to be a home button where you would go into like an app. We'll say, we'll go into something. Oh, hi, hi, uh, too common, low battery. Um, we'll go into settings like they hear settings go home are you wondering how you can do how how to do this even with voiceover on on this on an iphone that does not have no home button well let me first uh get siri rolling and we'll turn on voiceover mm -hmm. turn voiceover on okay voiceover is now on if y'all hear any street noises or crickets Battery level is 75 percent oh well Anyways, if y'all hear crickets or anything, or road noise, I have my window open because it's great in Florida. So I'm going to teach y'all how to navigate the iPhone. You know, iPhones traditionally, back in the old days, if I can find my 7, or here we'll just use the iPod Touches reference, used to have these little things down at the bottom called a home button or a home key. Down here that you would press to go home or wake up the device or use touch id actually the iphone 7 is right here so for uh, people that have visual contrast uh it's a um, little button with a ring around it so there you go and you would use that to either a wake up the screen or b unlock it it's so like this or you know you used to swipe up to get your notification center or like if you went into settings here to go and get out of it you'd have to press that home button now here the same with voiceover. Triple click the home button to wake up voiceover. Now you just triple tap the side button, or if you have a back tap, you can set up a triple tap or back tap. All right, so first we're going to open up something like settings. settings. And here settings. we go. No, I'm not signing up for uh, Apple Arcade. It's just I'm in a family plan with a few people, and that, that it's being featured. So, yeah, sorry I'm getting late to this upload. Anyways, I had stuff to do today. So, anyways, uh, well, actually, no, I've... I said I was going to upload this on um, Friday, but I'm choosing to upload this actually next week since a lot of people, a lot of students are on vacation and a lot of people may be getting iPhones soon for Christmas, whatever. So anyways, we're in settings. You're like, I'll, you're like, if you're new to the iPhone, you're like, how do I, how do I go home? So you hear one, one, here, we're going to turn up that volume a little bit. So we got a better contrast. Do not disturb. Button. Control center. Button. All right. How do I go home? Well, you see there's a little touch bar down there for sighted people. Three, two clicks. Settings. Takes you home with voiceover. One swipe up takes you home uh, for sighted people. All right. One click you hear. Page one of two. Adjustable. Hold on. That would cancel because you're on home screen. Now that click you just heard, let app go. Switcher. Settings active. And you got app switcher. And did you the uh, three thumps? I will uh, let y'all. I'll, I'll make a separate video on how I made that happen uh, with another accessibility video. Since iOS is actually slowing down in software uh, uh, release, so to get out of app switcher, two clicks. Takes you back Podcast. home. FaceTime. One swipe up will take you back home. One swipe up and up farther here. If I turn voiceover off, we'll, you, we'll use a accessibility shortcut. Voiceover off. Uh, one swipe up, like that, will take you home. You can tap on settings, and like one swipe up will take you back home. Now for voiceover, for people that are visually impaired. Voiceover on. FaceTime. You can slide down from each side of the notch. Left side for sighted people will bring down notifications. Right side will bring down your control center. So for a blind person, two clicks. Control center. Brings down your control center. Switch button. Off. Three clicks. That actually FaceTime. indicated a home gesture because you're already in the control center. You cannot do, but if you do. Notification center. There you go. 2018. There you go. So that's 
So that's the basic on how to navigate with gestures with the iPhone. I appreciate Apple how they made this accessible. They made this accessible from the get go with iOS 11. Uh, certain Androids you cannot do gestures like that. I mean, now these days you can, but when they first started out, it was very, very. It wasn't. It wasn't good. And Face ID is great. Here, I'll unlock. I'll lock the phone. I have tension awareness on. Here we go. Three, two, one. Not looking at it. It's looking for me. I'm behind the iPad. So. Field. Zero of six values entered. Three, text field. three, two, one. Like that. FaceTime. So it's a little bit faster. But it, it, it's a little bit slower and a little bit hesitant because of the fact that I am actually. But uh, my face was a little bit uh, obscured by the iPad Pro. All right, we'll try this again. Now I'm going to look over the iPad. Three, two, one. Look at that, instant. Once again, I'm gonna lock it. Three, two, one. 2019. Instant, once I wake up the screen. Like that. FaceTime. So to everyone watching, thank y'all so much for watching. This is Austin from Austin's Tech. Uh, I don't know when I'm actually gonna release this. It may be out tonight or it may be out later. Sorry for recording this late on Friday. Anyways, I said it was going to come out, so hopefully I can get it out before my uh, 9 o'clock stream on Austin's Comedy. Anyways, peace.